How did dad shoes become a thing? What does this pair of Yeezys have in common with this pair of Puma? And this pair of Nike M2K? With this pair of Balenciaga? Or even this pair of Oswigos? They all look like a shoe Al Bundy would sell you back in the 80s or the 90s. They're all dad shoes that are literally worn by anybody nowadays but dads. Yeah, dads have evolved and they're wearing Vapor Maxis and Boosts all the way from workplace to the park. But my question remains, how did dad shoes become a thing? I am Steph from 99 Sneakers and today we are going to find that out. Chunky, check. Grabby, check. Unflattering, check. What the f***? These nerd shoes might have a price tag of $895 and might be the object of desire for a bunch of influencers. But they still look as an old ass pair of shoes your mom keeps in the garage. So what's the deal over here? Have people stopped paying attention if their shoes are pretty or not? Or has everyone turned into a high beast all of a sudden? As usual, the truth lies somewhere in between. But first, let's start with some history. Andrew Reisman, founder of Coptay, believes the trend originated with Yeezy Powerface, an all-white, uncool sneaker released by Kanye West in March 2017. Others say this wave started with a Ralph Simmons Oswego for Adidas. The Germans are to blame for this? Protection from what? The Germans? In September of the same year, Balenciaga launched an $850 multicolored dad sneaker. The Triple S, which on resale sites might sell up to $1,500. Gucci are selling this heavy branded right on Gucci sneaker as their version of a dad shoe. And Louis Vuitton presented their arc like sneaker, by far the weirdest of them all in my opinion, with a price tag of nearly $1,100. And you want more? New Balance released 990 V4, a model which now looks relatively moderate for a dad sneaker. Puma pulled forward the release of some really chunky models, including its brightly colored Thunder Spectra, released in April 2018. Previously, Puma CEO Bjorn Gulden acknowledged that his company had been caught off guard by major shifts in product trends and consumer demand, especially in footwear. Luxury label Celine has shown ugly shoes, uh, dad shoes on their Spring and Resort 2018 runway. Dior is selling this really refined pair of shoes and Burberry is not missing the trend either. Fila and Skechers have re-released their own vintage geeky designs. And as if that was not enough, Zara is already making dad sneakers too. I mean, come on! In total, 122 brands sell the style. Instagram has already 40k of images with hashtag, yep, you guessed it right, dad shoes. Google Trends shows big searches for dad sneakers and dad shoes in the summer months of 2018. Retail analytics company Edited reports an amazing increase in the number of dad sneakers in stock online in the last three months compared with a year ago. Pinterest has also seen increased interest in dad sneaker searches. Adidas CEO Casper Rorsted told CNBC that millennials continue to drive throwback sneaker sales after the company reported better than anticipated second quarter earnings. Have chunky sneakers made their appearance only recently? Hell no! Baller sneakers, Jordans, up tempos and more are around for so long but few people ever thought of giving them a go on a movie premiere, let's say. But it's all about cycles in fashion. Minimalism is not the thing right now, period. What's a trend that you wish would never ever return? Minimalism. Even high basketball shoes might find their way on the runway. Nike released a woman fashion oriented version of the LeBron 16, along with the basketball model itself. Streetwear and performance shoes are merging 
and buying a bigger sneaker isn't the problem anymore. Nostalgia is also much accepted, so prepare for more. And of course, since brands are making the product, celebrities endorse it all the way. In April, Kendall Jenner hit a revolt party during Coachella, posing for pictures wearing a teeny tiny crop top, high-waisted cargo pants, a funny pack slung across your shoulders, and a pair of black sneakers with a bright yellow sole and blue accents. Not so different from your dad's running shoes. See Emily's face on this photo. Ian Connor, wearing sketchers like dads and kids at the malls. Kim, carrying groceries on Wave Runners. Tom York of Radiohead, wearing his Reeboks on stage. Okay, York looks like a dad and is a dad after all. Forget I said that. Jaden Smith on the red carpet, like that? Can't take it no more. On the flip side, if shoes weight ain't the most important thing for you, then maybe we should all admit that dad shoes feel comfortable, look pretty sturdy, and most of all, they make you look two inches taller. On a philosophical note, they're here to keep your feet on the ground. Instead of wearing uncomfortable high heels, ladies feel rooted, feel flat on the ground with no need to overdress in order to impress. And with all that being said, let's get something out of the way. Shoes, like Stan Smith's, Air Max's or Air Force's ain't dad shoes. It's not just the thick sole or the fact that dads feel comfortable on the most known Adidas on the planet that make a shoe a dad shoe. If you have seen carefully all the previous shoes we showed you, you can definitely see the pattern. Dad shoes are mostly ugly shoes. From an aesthetic perspective, they're nothing great to look at. But on the other hand, who cares? If you don't hop on the dad shoes bandwagon now, then you are out of fashion. There, I said it. It's all about fitting in. So, are you into dad shoes? Leave us a comment below if you love them or hate them. And please, show us some more dad shoes that you've come across. Who knows? We might decide to go for a second video. After all, dads deserve it. Liking the video and subscribing to our channel would mean the world. Thanks for viewing.